6 Tips for the First Time Home Sellers Update to First Time Home Sellers Today's buyers are pickier and have more instruments in their device belts. Thusly, sellers may need to invest more energy, time and money making their homes camera prepared. For first time sellers who have never been through the procedure, it's an alternate world. One where the estimation of the house isn't measured exclusively by the benefit made on the sale, however to a limited extent by the satisfaction the owners had from living in the home. Here are 7 things experienced sellers would let make known whether they could. 1. Price it practically from the begin, your biggest number of showings will happen in the initial half a month, says Mark Ramsey, a merchant with the Ramsey Group slash Keller Williams Realty in Charlotte, North Carolina. One reason, the systems and the internet tend to drive the majority of showings, he says. Numerous buyers are connected to electronically. So the moment something new flies up that meet their criteria, they need to see it. Exploit that sweet spot by valuing the house intensely idea out of the gate, he says. When first-time sellers James and Emily Feltz put their Oklahoma City home on the market last summer, their agent gave them a comprehensive list of the initial asking prices of nearby homes like theirs, along with the final selling prices. Some varied by $30,000, according to James Feltz. It gave them insight into setting their own home's list price. And how you style the price is important. The Felsers first marketed their home for $155,000. But lowering it to $150,000 meant the listing appeared within the computer search parameters that buyers commonly used in the price range, felt says. The result, a few weeks after the price change, they had a winning offer. 2. Be set up to lose some cash, need to sit with a house that won't move. Be the first run through a seller who demands to get the appraised value, the tax assessor estimate or whatever seller paid a couple of years prior. It appears as though there's no connection between the assessed value, taxable value and the real market estimation of our home, said Pat Vidvood Combs, past leader of the National Association of Realtors and VP of Coldwell Banker A.J. Schmidt in Grand Rapids, Michigan. There doesn't appear to be any connection. In all actuality seller's home is worth what buyers will pay. No more. This is a genuine market that Adam Smith would have adored, completely based on demand and supply, Combs says. Be careful the agent who guarantees enormous benefits, Combs says. That individual may simply be after business. 3. Toss in additional items, at the point when the Felsers were preparing to move, they realized that they most likely wouldn't have the capacity to take their top-notch gas garments dryer. It's not an ordinary thing in a considerable measure of houses, said Feltz. So they offered to sell the washer slash dryer, so in addition, a couple of different things that would be hard to move, similar to the two wall-mounted, level screen TVs. While the couple trusted these advantages would convey some additional cash to the table, it didn't play out as expected. However, it sweetened the pot for the buyer, who consented to buy at the maximum if the Felsers incorporated those things. Since taking them would have gotten them stray cerebral pains, their additional items turned into a decent selling point. 4. Clear the messiness, keeping home clean is vital in each sale. Be that as it may, first-timers are likely selling littler houses, and mess can mean the distinction amongst comfortable and cramped. Clearing the messiness is something we burned through half a month doing before we acquired anybody, says Feltz. While they trusted their home would demonstrate better outfitted, they likewise needed to pare down all the superfluous pieces. What's more, they put away the remains in the garage. Before they put it available, the Felsers asked their agent's feeling. We let him know, we are willing to do whatever you need, Felt says. The agent's proposal, get free of the bedroom dresser to make the room feel more open. 
kitchen and washroom ledges are another problem area that numerous sellers neglect to clear. A similar chaos that speaks to a typical routine makes your home appear to be untidy, disrupted and uninviting to buyers. 5. Appeal to lazy buyers, most buyers are lazy. The exact opposite thing another homeowner needs is another schedule, Ramsey says. So prepare the home move in before it hits the market so the buyer can begin crisp effectively. That implies making every one of the repairs and substitutions that you would request in the event that you were buying the house today. In the event that you need to walk single record up to the walkway, trim the shrubs. In the event that you go into a room and say, well, I think about whether this cover is sufficiently messy to supplant. First-time sellers are likely selling littler, starter homes which are prominent with first-time buyers and empty nesters, Ramsey says. Neither one of the groups is probably going to need to invest ends of the week handle in the occupations that you kept away from. From an introduction viewpoint, you need them to feel it's turnkey, prepare to go, Ramsey says. 6. Put up date cash where it really matters, in the case of hoping to spend some cash to make a home paramount, ask somebody who recognizes what will enhance the market value, says Combs. She recalls that one $90,000 starter home that the owners needed to emerge from the pack. They did an extremely costly kitchen redesign with bunches of high dollar additional items. Lamentably, it was a more established home in a market that was never going to be above $90,000, Combs says. So the cash they put in, they lost. On the other hand, the Felses took after their agent's proposal to paint their sharp blue kitchen tan to coordinate the walls of the neighboring open living room and pulling more buyers. The least expensive thing you can accomplish for a house with the greatest value for the money is to paint and supplant cover, says Ramsey. His proposal, delicate neutrals, which are simple on the eyes and have mass interest. Fresh carpet and that new paint smell are additionally by a bait. I have never, ever observed a buyer get candidly appended to a carpet allowance sign, says Ramsey. What they experience passionate feelings for is the new carpet in the house.